Today, let's explore the world of distributed file systems. We will uncover their design principles and implementations. We will cover Network File System and Andrew File System and design principles for building effective distributed file systems. So, what exactly are distributed file systems? A distributed file system is essentially a file system that enables multiple hosts to access files over a computer network. It allows users to work with data stored on different machines as if it were all on their own local computer. Think of it as a way to create a shared storage space across multiple machines. Some of the key points regarding distributed file systems are that the files are stored across multiple machines, they provide transparent access to remote files, meaning that the user doesn't need to know where the file is actually located. They also provide location independence. The system supports concurrent file sharing by multiple users or applications and finally, they enable fault tolerance and replication to ensure data is safe and available, even if some machines fail. When designing a distributed file system, there are several key goals to keep in mind. These goals are critical to ensure that the file system is effective and user-friendly. Let's explore some of these design goals. The first is transparency. Users should not be aware that the file system is distributed. Location transparency means the system hides the actual physical location of the file from the user. Access transparency means that the user interface remains the same regardless of where the client is located. Naming transparency means the system uses a consistent file naming scheme across the network. Performance is also important. A distributed file system should perform similarly to a local file system. Caching is used to reduce network traffic, efficient data transfer protocols are used, and load balancing is done across servers. Reliability and availability are also critical. The system should continue to work even if some of the components fail. Data replication is done across multiple servers, fault tolerance mechanisms are implemented, and automatic recovery is enabled from failures. Finally, scalability is also important. The system should remain efficient as it grows in size and complexity. The system should support adding new servers without disrupting operations, distributed metadata management techniques are used, and hierarchical organization of servers is used. Now let's dive into a specific example of a distributed file system which is the Network File System, or NFS. This was developed by Sun Microsystems. The Network File System is a distributed file system protocol that allows users on a client computer to access files over a network as if those files were on their local computer. NFS operates using a client-server architecture. The client requests access to files stored on the server. It uses remote procedure calls or RPC, which enables the client and server to communicate. NFS is designed to be platform independent, allowing different types of computers to access files seamlessly. It also provides transparent file access, hiding the complexities of network operations from the user. Let's examine the architecture of network file system and how it operates. On the client side, an application requests a file. This request is intercepted by the Virtual File System, or VFS. The VFS directs the request to the NFS client, which uses the Remote Procedure Call client to communicate over the network layer with the NFS server. On the server side, the network layer receives the request and passes it to the Remote Procedure Call server. The Remote Procedure Call server forwards it to the NFS server, which interacts with the virtual file system. The virtual file system then retrieves the file from the local file system. Here are some of the remote procedure calls that NFS supports. Lookup, read, write, create, remove, getatter, citatter, mkdir, and rmdir. Here are the key implementation features of NFS. It has a stateless design where the server maintains no client state, a mount protocol, which maps remote directories to local mount points, file handles, which are unique identifiers for files across the network, client-side caching, which improves performance by reducing network traffic and synchronous writes by default for data integrity. 
Now let's explore another type of distributed file system known as Andrew File System or AFS. The Andrew File System is a distributed file system developed at Carnegie Mellon University as part of the Andrew Project. It focuses on scalability and is designed to work efficiently over wide area networks. Some of the key characteristics are that it uses whole file caching on clients, callback-based cache coherence, a stateful server design, volume-based file organization, and Kerberos-based authentication. Here are some of the advantages of AFS over NFS. Better scalability for large networks, improved wide area network performance, and a stronger security model. Let's take a look at the Andrew file system's operations. When a client wants to access a file, the client, also known as Venus, checks if the file is in the local cache and is valid. If it is not in the cache or if it is invalid, the client requests the file from the server also known as Vice. The server then sends the entire file to the client. The client stores the file in its local cache. The server then registers a callback promise with the client. The client accesses the file locally for all read operations. When the client wants to modify the file, the client sends the entire file back to the server. The server breaks callbacks to the other clients with cached copies. The callback mechanism works as follows. The AFS server maintains a callback table, which keeps track of which clients have cached copies of which files. When a client modifies a file, the server breaks the callbacks to all other clients with cached copies, ensuring cache coherence. Let's compare and contrast the network file system and the Andrew file system. In terms of server state, NFS is stateless, meaning the server doesn't track the client state, whereas AFS is stateful, meaning the server maintains client callbacks. Regarding caching, NFS uses block-level caching with periodic validation, whereas AFS uses whole file caching with callback-based validation. For network usage, NFS has higher network traffic for file operations, whereas AFS has lower network traffic due to whole file caching. Regarding scalability, NFS has limited scalability for large networks, whereas AFS is designed for large-scale campus or enterprise networks. For consistency model, NFS uses close to open consistency with timeouts, whereas AFS uses open to close consistency with callbacks. For security, NFS uses basic Unix-style security, whereas AFS uses Kerberos-based authentication and access control lists. For performance over wide area networks, NFS has poor performance over high latency links, whereas AFS has better wide area network performance due to caching model. Creating distributed file systems come with specific design challenges, including maintaining consistent file state across distributed caches while minimizing network traffic. To solve the consistency and caching problem, callback mechanisms such as with Andrew file system, time-based cache validation such as with network file system, and least-based consistency protocols are used. Distributed file systems should be performant across varying network conditions while supporting large-scale deployments. To solve the performance and scalability problem, intelligent caching strategies, distributed metadata management and replication and load balancing are used. File access has to be secured across network boundaries while maintaining usability. To solve the security and authentication problems, Kerberos-based authentication such as with Andrew file system, access control lists and encryption for data in transit are used. The system has to ensure availability despite server failures, network partitions, and other faults. To solve the fault tolerance and availability problems, data replication across multiple servers, stateless server design such as with network file system and automatic failover mechanisms are used. Now let's take a look at modern distributed file systems. Modern distributed file systems build upon the principles established by Network File System and Andrew File System while addressing the challenges of massive scale, cloud environments, and big data workloads. Google File System or GFS is a scalable distributed file system for large distributed data intensive applications. It is designed to provide efficient, reliable access to data using inexpensive commodity hardware. It is optimized for large files and append operations, 
has a single master with multiple chunk servers, and has relaxed consistency model for high throughput. Hadoop Distributed File System, or HDFS, is an open source implementation inspired by GFS. It is designed to reliably store very large files across machines in a large cluster. It is the core component of the Apache Hadoop ecosystem. It uses write once, read many access model. It has a name node and data node architecture and has block replication for fault tolerance. Ceph is a software defined storage system designed to provide excellent performance, reliability, and scalability. It offers object, block, and file storage in a unified system. Ceph uses a crush algorithm for data placement, has no central metadata server meaning it is decentralized, and has self-healing and self-managing capabilities. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit CodeLucky.com for more such useful content.